Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of October 1927, sculptor Gutzon Borglum began work on America's Mount Rushmore National Memorial in South Dakota. Mount Rushmore lies in the Black Hills, which had been granted to the Lakota Sioux in the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868. However, following the Great Sioux War of 1876, the land was taken by the US government, and prospectors came to the area to find gold. Half a century later, in 1923, historian Doan Robinson proposed carving the faces of heroes of the American West into rock to promote tourism in the area. After rejecting the granite pillars known as the Needles due to them being too thin, sculptor Gutzon Borglum chose Mount Rushmore, despite opposition from Native Americans and environmentalists. Robinson had originally proposed including the faces of people with local significance, but Borglum persuaded him to include national figures instead. The likenesses of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were proposed, and on the 3rd of March 1925, the project received congressional approval, by which time the decision had been made to include the additional sculptures of Thomas Jefferson and Theodore Roosevelt. Work on the mountain began two years later, on the 4th of October 1927. Assisted at first by Ivan Hauser and later by his own son Lincoln, Gutzon Borglum oversaw a team of 400 workers who used dynamite and pneumatic hammers alongside smaller drills and chisels to remove around 450,000 tonnes of rock from the mountain. Washington's face was the first to be completed, seven years after work began. In July 1939, Roosevelt was the final likeness to be dedicated, after which Borglum spent two years touching up the work. The completed monument was dedicated in October 1941.